Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you are not uh, tired. Um, it's a very uh, emotional moment for me. Um, my father is a emeritus professor here in the, in the Technion, so for me it's kind of closure in a way. Uh, it's the first time that I'm giving a lecture here. Um, in my lecture, I will shall present how design can be strategic voice for company. I don't know if a leader, but a very important voice. Um, someone that can ask a very hard question during the processes. Um, and being essential uh, part of all aspects of product development. Okay, my name is Safi, and I'm wearing two kinds of hats, designer and educator. I'm teaching industrial designer uh, for over almost 22 years, and just finished my uh, third year as a head of the industrial design department in Bezalel. I'm also a co-founder of one of the higher consultancy design uh, offices in Israel. Uh, the name is I2D, and it's located in Tel Aviv. My professional experience works in wide range of fields, um, and a lot of clients in Israel and, and abroad. In our studio, we are using all kinds of methods, uh, design thinking, thinking uh, user, human-centered design, uh, innovation process, and so. The mixed reality Googles are one of the biggest promotions, promises of the technology uh, of this decade. The best development of design group in the world in largest company operate a full steam and investment in order to lead the market that's still in the early stage. Google, Microsoft, Intel, Lenovo, Sony, Epson. People are, are saying that Apple as well is running too. And hundreds of other small, medium size of companies are, are part of this race. In addition, a small company from Rehovot, not far away from here, named Lumust. Some say they, that they have been ahead in the time operating for almost 20 years in this field. For nine years, me and my colleagues in the studios have uh, consulted the strategy and Advice to the and advice in this de development of several systems. A lot of development, money, and uh, prestige are invested in one of the most interesting and promising area. Some predict that this is the one of the areas that is going to bring a huge money to the company that will be winning the race. Tim Murrell. Managing Director of Digit Capital and Silicon Valley based advisor has estimated that VR and AR could become 150 billion in the market by 2025, not so far. What is the state of the art of product right now? I'll start with Microsoft. Well, Microsoft, HoloLens 2, that have just announced a the, the, the version number two uh, of the company, it's a complete system. It's a hardware, software, operating system, an application, system that weight about half a pound and can work for a long time, two and a half hours on average. Some people evolving the cost of the project as a $2 billion project. The second one, uh, is Magic Leap. I'm sure that most of you are know. It's one of the promising company in the field. The company was founded in 2010 by Ronnie Abovich. And according to Forbes, up to 
2019, four and a half billion dollar has been invested in huge companies such as Google, Alibaba, AT&T, and more. The system contained three elements. Glasses, if you can call it a glasses, computer model, control stick, and the weight of the glass is 350 grams. That's working very, uh, if you're working uh, very high level, it's two and a half hours of work. The new player in the market is Lenovo, who published a few months ago the Think Reality, a system, also a three-unit three configuration, glasses, computer, control stick, and a glasses that weigh three, uh, 380 grams on your head. Google uh, released the second glass system from 2013, the single monitor glasses, which allows primarily text and data, built-in battery, sound, and the glasses is the first to design the system as a conventional glasses with, solution for, uh, with a solution for uh, prescription uh, glasses. The current model is a defined as a, as a professional product for various users and it's weight 46 gram that it's almost like a pair of glasses, a regular pair of glasses. A small company that's called Norse, used to be a Canadian startup, TI, as, as the Benjamin of the group. Like Google Glass approaches a different uh, kind of AR glasses, the company went out this year with personalized system uh, with a holographic projector I has almost transparent and a world of optical glasses with a system. When the interface represents a ring uh, warm on the finger, the system is based on several uh, simbling regular uh, eyeglasses frames where technology built inside. You can walk with them almost 18 hours without charging and the weight is 80 gram that it's a bit higher than the uh, regular glasses frame. Uh, the part of the interesting, it's a new business scenario in the, in the young field. The company has opened two stores to sell glasses in, no, in New York and in Toronto. And the strategic approach to the design is based on similar approach to Google Glass, but more elaborate and less uh, consp conspicuous. I'm going to touch it later on the, on the speech. In spite of Norse, most of the company are sell right now the system as the most, mostly developer for developers, application for their systems. Uh, in the world of product, this is a relatively new concept that came from the world of software. Unlike the software world, the mixed reality companies sell this product. The desired development of the system, uh, augmented reality, is meaning, meaning manifested in the cultural world, such as literature and science fiction, and f science fiction film, art, and design, as well as science. The technology the same aspiration uh, to create a more complex and richer reality that's physical than physical reality. The glasses as means of connecting the fantasy with reality, perhaps ex as expansion tool to the human perception. And as a reflection of the way of the, and describe Asimov, William Gibson, Douglas Adams, Stanley Kubrick, and others, uh, had in mind. In 65 was the first time that someone uh, this fantasy came to realize. One of the first success of the working system was created by Dr. Ivan Sh Shutterland uh, of the Utah University as part of the huge project which was most ambitious for, this, for his time. From this point the world of technology was worked 
and evolve in all sports, in all sorts of uh, direction until today. When the great challenges have been evolved in almost all areas of science and technology, physics, optics, computer science, hardware, and so on. Since then, most of the development of the system is guiding principles by set uh, that's written by Dr. Ivan uh, Sutherland. Jumping to 2000, in the same year, Lumus were founded, Dr. Jacob Amitai, it was developed the Optical Element Slide Guide, LOE. It's the, it's the, the most complicated part of the, uh, uh, of the glasses. Principle, I used the company until now. The principle is a transferring the image uh, from tiny screen to the glasses that will build a prism directly to the eye, which enable the person who makes the who works with the glasses to see the, the, the project, but the other one who in front of him to see nothing. It's like a regular glasses. It took the company almost seven years to develop uh, the first product, and in 2008, the company began to selling the, to American Air Force suppliers uh, the optical engines for their helmets. The same time, the company developed the first civil system that called video, uh, that called video goggles, or head-up display. The design was led by the uh, very high-level leading uh, design consultancy from the Silicon Valley. Uh, as a reflection for this picture, the glasses were very strange in their faces and very uncomfortable. The weight was very high. It's 178 grams compared to 21 or 40 grams that regular glasses are weight. The data transfer cable was created in, the in front of the face and touch the face all the time and make the glasses turn all over. Um, in this point, we are, came to this project and start to research a long track uh, to redefine the needs identify the problem uh, in order to formulate a proper right image and create such a new one in the experience. The first conclusion were, what are the use case the people are using these new, new glasses? And uh, there was many uh, other issues that we had to take care of, the highway, the strange look, the cable problems, and manufacturing problems. The company brief included four keys of missions. I'm going back to the, the strategic di direction that lead the Google and North to the connect their system to the world glasses and offer a number of designs. With the same question we faced 10 years earlier, uh, the main question was how to do a define a type of glasses to match the women and men. The problem is increasing uh, if there was only one kind of face, but there was many faces as possible. Uh, the different type of faces was one of the biggest questions that we had to ask ourselves 10 years ago. With this question, we went for a long journey during companies, uh, uh, people are wearing glasses, uh, stores, uh, suppliers and so on to understand if there is any glasses that can fit to the all kinds of faces because we had to design just one pair of glasses for all. So we came out with a, with a conclusion in the end that this type that you can see on the, on the board is, is kind of a type that's in this proportion kind of a, contain the natural look for people and define by rectangular, very uh, small rectangular, as a, as a very, uh, a very common glasses uh, that can fit for all kinds of faces. Center type of uh, have been defined. We had uh, been mapping eyeglasses frame and normal uh, visibil vis visibility and analyzes according to the categories of the style that we already formatting. 
And this, at, at that time, there, were real, there was no real company, that, uh, co um, there was not really company that compete Lumos in this field. And several companies uh, build like LCD based video glasses and so on, look like a kitsch, kitsch tech. Uh, or futuristic uh, way of looking, nobody wants to wear these kind of glasses on their faces. Uh, I will continue. Okay. We had a long journey and, and, and we get, uh, we work as a typographer to try to understand and to realize what's the frame look like. We, we check it on different type of faces. We make kind of journeys, a, a, a use case, a different kinds of use case. There was kind of difficulty in the cable management. We attached them and we try to understand how the people are using it during this process. We built some models to check all the stuff and we came out on 2010 with the project uh, full, uh, ready for manufacturing and the company decided to transfer the, uh, uh, the design, the, the marketing strategy, strategy to a developer kit, uh, and they produce it for I don't know a few hundreds, and and it, the rest is is the history. In 2013, the Google Glass appear uh, with the same uh, uh, ID that the the regular face, the natural look should be one, will be a base the base of, the, of this uh, uh, design. And, uh, and we, we also develop a monocular Google Glass uh, uh, glasses uh, compared to this, uh, um, to this uh, system. And uh, th th this project was finished in 2014. And uh, as you can see it on the, on, the, on the left side, it received many kinds of awards and uh, a good reviews for all the tech uh, company uh, comparing to the uh, 214. I'm sorry, I will maybe finish and that's it. So we had two other uh, developers. It's a long process and I will show just the end of the, oh, it's finished. Okay, thank you, anyway.